face of what? Fuck you, prove it. I got boxes of tapes, evidence, other documents proving it. I can't wait to see you explain this to a jury, you fucking cocksucker. This is gonna be fucking fun. I told you I had evidence. Just fucking kill me. I am killing you. All right, I want to talk about this video that I released uh, the other day. Gaslighting trans person with a uh, voice of God weapons. I got some emails from some people and some comments. Look, I'm not a fan of these self-appointed victims, of these self-appointed martyrs. And, you know, the person to me sounds like a, a South Park episode I watched. I'm going slap, slap, happy, slappity, slapping you, teaching you a lesson for coming in my house. What are you looking at, Robertson? But that doesn't change the fact that this actually happened. And by the reaction and the reaction of the people in the restaurant, I could tell that something was amiss here. So if you haven't seen it, watch it. So to give you the rundown, uh, a trans person goes into a fast food restaurant and believes that people are calling them names. When they get outside of the restaurant, they hear what they believe is good night, sir. And they turn around and they go back in and the dude is just like, oh my God, genuinely cannot believe that this person is saying this to him. He can't believe it that this person is accusing him of it and eventually ends up calling the person crazy. So I will just play you the clip real quick that we are going to work with here. No, stop trying to gaslight trans people and tell us that we're crazy. Wait, what? Did you call me sir again? What was that? You said goodnight, sir? This is transphobic harassment. You're a bigot at work. All right, Alex, you know what? See, he can't, he can't handle it. The dude's just like, oh my God. And he's correct. Because when I go back to the audio here, before the trans person turns around and says, wait, what? Wait, what? There's nothing there. And I explained that in the first video. I have looked at it spectrally and I have looked at the WAV file itself and I have listened. There is nothing there that says, good night, sir. In the original, right? When we get into the spectral analysis and start looking at what is constructed within the ambient sound, it is totally different. So let's listen to it once. Wait, what? There's nothing there. Wait, what? But there are anomalies, and you can kind of hear this hiss phase in and out. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. And a noise in the background, like a high-pitched voice. We're going to get to that. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? So, when I got into it, I showed in the last video that there is actually a voice there that says, Good night, sir that is comprised of ELF and the higher tinnitus type frequencies in that range between like 7,000 and let's say 14,000 hertz or 14 kilohertz. So I spent some time on it. Let's get into that. And again, the reason why I say, you know, 8,000 hertz or 14,000 hertz is to try to keep this as street as possible for people. So this was the original that I showed in the video where you can hear a voice, a mechanical voice in a sing-songy pulse communication say, good night, sir. Let's check it out. Wait, what? And the trans person says, wait, what? So, good night, sir. And then they hear something and say, wait, what? Wait, what? And it's like, good night, sir. Wait, what? So I got into the core of those frequencies to try to break it down and show you what was constructing this sound so we could get to the bottom of it. Here is another version of that original where you can hear like this sing-songy voice say, good night, sir. Wait, what? Wait, what? So I started getting into it and what it is is the low end is carrying the low frequencies of the good night, sir. And the high end sounds like more like a woman. And it is put together to create one line. And let's check that out right now. What you're going to hear in this is you are going to hear a garbling. On top of that, there is a very high-pitched female voice 
that says, good night, sir. And then the trans person says, wait, what? And I'm going to play you a bunch of different versions of this, but this is the original with that background interference minus the low end. So here we go. Wait, what? So you hear that high pitch, good night, sir, and then wait, what? I'll loop it. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? That is not a human voice. That is a pulsed communication that is operating in ELF and high frequencies. I'll play it one more time. Wait, what? And the high-pitched voice is saying, good night, sir. Now, let's get into the higher frequency area. So the high frequencies are causing the S's, the T's, and the low frequencies are carrying the pulse, the syllables. Pump, pump, pump. So like three pulses for good night, sir. That's three syllables, good night, sir. And then you have the high frequencies creating the illusion of vocalization. So here are the high frequencies without that stuff behind it or with a lot of it gone. And it says, good night, sir. Wait, what? Good night, sir. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? It is not real. That is not a human voice, but it is there. And you could not hear it in the original recording. Here is a different version. Wait, what? Wait, what? Good night, sir. Wait, what? Now, this version is very interesting. You have to retain that female quality of it, but when it's mixed with the low end and these two different frequency components, just like vocal cords, it sounds like a male. But these male and female voices are both the same frequencies, just pitched in a different manner. So I'm going to play this different version of Good Night, Sir, and him saying, Wait, what? Wait, what? Good night, sir. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I forgot to mention this, but he says exactly what he heard. What was that? You said good night, sir? What was that? You said good night, sir? And it says good night, sir. The low frequencies are creating the syllable punches, the pulses, and the high frequency, the higher frequencies in this are creating the illusion of vocalization. It's a little more complicated than that, but I'm just breaking it down in the, the simplest way possible. So you will hear the female type voice say, good night, sir. Wait, what? Did you call me sir again? But when you listen to the original, it has that male sound to it. So this is the original, and it has that male tone. Wait, what? But when you listen back to only the higher frequencies and isolate them, and the T's and the S's and the, the high frequencies are really a female sounding voice. Wait, what? So that is how this is working. Now, here are a couple different versions of that. Wait, what? Here's another version of it. Wait, what? Here's another version of it. Here's another version of it. Wait, what? Wait, what? And here's another version of it. Wait, what? Wait, what? So it's very interesting the way this is operating, but the person totally believes it and totally believes that somebody said good night, sir, to them when there is nothing there. When we listen back, there is not a human voice there, but there are anomalies in the sound. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? So it's very interesting the way this is working. This is a weapon of war. And the most important part is if somebody claims they hear something and I find those exact words in the recording, they're not crazy. The sound is physically there. So it's impossible for them to be crazy if they heard something that is actually in the ether. You have to realize what an effective weapon this is. This person bought this hook, line, and sinker.
because they have no reason to not believe what they are hearing. They have trusted their senses their entire life. Their entire life. They have no reason to not trust their senses. But now their senses are being manipulated completely. Now, if they were hearing something else, you realize how easy it would be to manipulate somebody. That's it for now. Look out for Charlie. Come on, do Nazi stuff. Yeah, why won't he do the Nazi stuff? Look out for Charlie.